Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video today. We have one of my favorite videos to make. This is a CGC unboxing. I feel like I need the dorkeries here to sing me a song about CGC and unboxing these comics, but they're not here, so we're gonna have to muscle through. Hopefully you guys are excited. Here we go. As always, for any information as far as fair market value, recent sold data, or the census, I'll be using gocollect.com. My friends over at gocollect, make sure you go check them out at gocollect.com. That's what I use for all of my pricing information. When I'm out hunting, I use them. I'm not paid or anything by them to talk about, to talk about gocollect. So just definitely check them out. It's, it's my favorite place to go for all of that stuff, if you're ever wondering. So I sent these out the exact same time I sent the other comics out that he's got freaking issues press. They received those and these within one day of each other. Midwest Scotsman Paul pressed these, so I'm really excited to see how these turned out. I've got six books, kind of a hodgepodge mix match of books in here. Some really, really good ones, some just different stuff, three and three. I'm really excited about what these books got. First book up is one of my favorite books. I'm so happy. There was a time when I was getting all of these one in 100 variants. The Fantasy Shop in Creevecore, Missouri would always offer me first dibs on any of the art germs, uh, one in 100s. This is where, this is the death of Jane Foster, Jason Aaron's story, and this is the um, art germ, Warren Lau, virgin cover. So I'm really excited about this one. I sent this in because it's one of my, I mean, I love this cover, first of all, and I thought it had 9-8 potential. As I'm looking at it, I see, you know, maybe one small non-color non breaking spine tick, I really thought this one had, this probably didn't need much. The back looks immaculate. The front looks really, really immaculate. I was probably being real picky when picking out a little spine tick. It's probably even part of the um, the coloring. So I'm guessing 9.8 on this all day, every single day, 9.8. Um, I'd be really disappointed with a 9.6. So here we go. This is in honor of Tim, Large Man's Comics. I'm gonna do the extremely slow 9.8 tape pull. <laughs> yes, I can already see the two the two humps. So we've got two humps, which means this is a 9.8. Super happy to add this to the collection. I'm going to put up some information as far as how much a 9.8 goes for in this book. All right, for this book, I'm not 100% sure this is correct. I feel like there's more on the CGC census, but it's according to the Go Collect census for CGC, it's saying that there's five 9.8s. I, I think there's more than that on the census. Not sure what's going on with that, but this book uh, sold in September of 2020 for $300. So this is a $300 book. Um, it was a one in 100, so I got it for half ratio at Creevecore, you know, the fantasy shop in Creevecore, Missouri for 50 bucks and then grading fees in it to it about probably, you know, 80, 90 bucks and uh, it's a $300 value. So really, really happy about that. While we're at it, I'm gonna show another art germ. This book I got for $1 at a half price books. I thought this book looked great as well. This one definitely had potential, but I do see one glaring spine tick, color breaking spine tick, and a little bit of a corner issue, but that's it. So you can see right by Odyssey's head, right there. There's this color breaking spine tick and then this corner right here has that like little fuzzy thing. But I'm guessing with those two, 9.6. I'm really hoping for a 9.6 on this. Would, would have loved for it to be a 9.8 for some reason. Don't know why, um, uh, you know, obviously that tick and that tick. I don't know if it'll get a 9.8. It would be a gift grade if it did. But 9.8s have, 9.8s have, issues. Okay. I see it. Oh man. I see it already. Nine, four, nine, four. All right. So it's not a nine, six, I guessed nine, six, it got a nine, four and I'll put up some information or at least talk about the information on the census and go collect fair market value for a nine, four. This is a pretty rare book. Got it at a half price books for $1, like I said, and uh, it's awesome. I mean, this book is not easy to find. It's not easy to find, you know, like a 9.8. Let me look up some information on this. Okay, so according to Go Collect Census, there are five 9.4s universal on the census. And last sold was um, June of 2020 at a 9.4 for 
for $200. So I paid a dollar plus grading fees, which is probably around 20 bucks. So I've got about $21 into this comic and it recently sold in June of last year for $200. Really great A1, The Weirding Willows. So if you're looking for this book, it's A1, The Weirding Willows, number one from Titan Comics from 2013. So two really great art germ covers. Now let's get to let's get to some of the older books. X-Men books, X titles are really, really hot right now. Here is a great X title. This is X Factor number six. For some reason, I thought this one was going to be a 9-8. I thought it had potential, so I'm checking this out. Thought this one had a lot of potential. Newsstand, I don't know if that really means anything on this book. I'm seeing one spine tick down here. Yep, you see that right there above the, the signature. One spine tick right there. A little bit of a blunted corner, a little bit of a blunted corner right there. Not bad, it's just not as sharp as I feel like it should be. Um, and a little bit of a, a little bit of a tick on the back there. You're not gonna be able to see it. X Factor Six, the first appearance of Apocalypse. I am thinking, so if that one got a nine four and it had a color breaking spine tick and a little corner, I'm thinking hopefully nine six on this one. Hopefully nine six. I wanted a nine eight on this one. I thought it had potential. Nine six, let's go. Yes, nine six, sweet. Super happy with that. Nine six white pages. I'll take that. Um, X books are just exploding. If this was a if this was a nine eight, it'd probably be a four hundred dollar book. I'll check and see what this one is. All right, in in nine six, this is a hundred fifty dollar book. It just sold uh, one day ago. Yesterday, it sold for hundred and fifty bucks. That's pretty decent. I, I mean, I'll take that for sure. Um, a nine eight would have been a four hundred sixty five dollar book just last week. So four hundred and sixty dollars. Close to 500. I don't. I don't think it's peaked. It has peaked over 500 uh, once earlier. Earlier last month, actually twice early last month. You know, significant price drop when you're looking at a 9.6. Let's check out the census. There are 5,080 universal graded books copies, and then for 9.6s there are 1,376 universal 9.6s. So not a you know not a rare book. It is a newsstand, so maybe that will fetch a little bit more, but I'm very, very happy uh, with this book. I think it looks great. I, I've wanted this slabbed for a while. I just procrastinated. I also want X Factor 23, the first appearance of Archangel slabbed. I think that's a great book as well. So really happy with this. Uh, looks good. I don't think any issues really, uh, quality control issues so far. So we're doing good. All right, next up. This book is insane. This book is insane right now. It's also blowing up. I have a 9-8 uh, X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 266, the first appearance of Gambit. Now, a lot of people are saying this is the first appearance. This is the first true first appearance. So I had a really high grade copy of this book. So I wanted to send it in because as ETA Nick says, if you don't know, get them both. So this is Fantastic Four and Ahab appearance Gambit cameo. And this predates Uncanny X Men 266. Man, this book! I knew I knew it was very very high. It would be great to have this at a nine eight to match that one. Boy, they would pair really nice together. I, I see a little binary tear down there, but I mean it's not. That's me being picky. I don't see any spine ticks. I didn't see any spine ticks when I sent it in, so I think uh, it, it's going to look really good. Paul made this thing look flat and nice. Looks really really great. Back looks immaculate front immaculate. I've got to say 9.8. I'm really hoping for a 9.8 on this. It would be uh, perfect. A 9.6, it would look really awkward next to that 9.8. Um, so here we go. Oh, this one's taped up really good. There we go. 9.8. That is fantastic. That is really good. 9.8 white pages. First cameo, and some believe this is the first full appearance of Gambit. So this will pair very, very nicely with that uncanny 266. So let me get some information on this one. All right, in a 9.8, just sold last week, $443. $443. I can never remember spending more than like $10 for this book. $15 at the maximum, but in a 9.8 white pages, $443. The census for this one, there are 716 copies, universal blue label, and 2,244 copies graded 
and universal grade on the census. So this is much more rare than probably the Uncanny X-Men 266. It'll probably pick up. I know there's a pl there's a plethora of these out there in the wild just waiting to be bought for a dollar to $15 and then graded and hopefully with hopes and dreams of someone um, upgrading to a $443 book. So this is really awesome. I'm, I'm very happy with this. So far, so good. We've got a 9.8, two 9.8s. We've got a 9.6 and a 9.4. Very, very good so far. Awesome results. Really loving this unboxing. We don't have any issues so far. I, I haven't seen any issues. Quality control. These look great. I mean, there's no hairs in them. There's no scratches, no cracks. I've had some scratches uh, recently on books. And so I'm happy to have um, both of these or all of these come out looking pretty darn nice. Exactly how I want them to come. Um, this one, this one's interesting. This one's very, very interesting. So it's got a little bit of a corner ding, corner crunchy ding right there. Then it has these like tire tracks or something. I don't know what the heck happened there and there. But I don't know what that's going to do. I thought this looked pretty nice, but I'm sure those aren't going to help. And then I may see little fingerprint or something right there on the back. Otherwise it looks pretty good. I thought it looked great, um, but I wanted to see if, you know, Paul could get those out. Obviously those are pretty in, in there pretty good. The book looks really great. I'm gonna guess there is a spine tick right here on the helmet and a spine tick non-color breaking right there and then those two things. So geez, I'm guessing like 9294 on this one. Hopes, hopes of a 9-4. Because once again, this is the Venom cameo. So if you don't know, get them both. Second, Todd McFarlane on Amazing Spider-Man. Hoping for a 9-4. 9-2 or 9-4. Hoping for a 9-4. Oh, we got a 9-0. 9-0. All right, okay. Uh, not what I wanted. This is the, this is the best looking 9-0 that you guys will ever find. Um, it looks really, really good. I don't, I was hoping for at least a 9.4 after seeing that those things didn't come out. But what can you do? You can't do anything. Maybe this was a little undergraded. Not sure, but I'm not complaining because I still love this book. And I, and I love the way that this one presents. You know, it's from 1988. Uh, you can't, you can't always get super high grades. This one is a direct edition. So 86 is when they kind of went 50-50 and then direct edition started to be more prevalent. So just gathering some information on Amazing Spider-Man 299. And they do break them out into newsstand and direct edition. So this one is the direct edition at a 9.0. The last sold for almost 200, 191. So that's pretty good. Let's see what the next grade up would have been. The next grade up um, sold in March for 150. So actually, a recent sale uh, just a week or so ago, March 22nd, 90 sold for 191 dollars, and then at the beginning of March, a 92 sold for um, the beginning of March, March 6 sold for 150. So these books are crazy. Uh, one week to the next, you never know how much more they'll appreciate in value. Nine O's, there are 416 on the census. Total on the CGC census, there are 4,953 universal grades complete. So yeah, still happy with this one. The next book up is the big one, but it is the lowest grade. All right, so this is the one that I consider the big dog. So I sold a really, really high grade copy of this book when I was going for other books. And then I was in Carbondale, Illinois. So Southern Illinois, that is in the Count Von Strange stomping grounds. He lives around that area. I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw this copy. And it was, I knew it was kind of a beater, mid-grade beater. The seller had it for 200 bucks. I can, I think I remember the story pretty clearly. They had it for $200 and offered them 150 bucks and they accepted and they met me. So it was great. They met me at the gas station that I was at filling up getting ready to travel home. And so I bought this new stand mid-grade for $150. At the time, it was like probably fair market value, GPA, um, but I needed to replace the, the high grade copy that I had sold. So I just, I was in desperate need for a nice copy. So you see there's spine ticks all up and down the spine. I, I wanted to get this graded because 
Someone asked me the other day why I choose to get certain books graded. I love the presentation, number one. Sometimes it's a it's a it's a bigger book. I like some of my biggest books, you know, like my my biggest keys, my bigger keys slabbed. Other times it it turns them in in my opinion into the most liquid form of asset a comic can be. Because there's no guessing. I can just flip this pretty quickly if the price gets like out of control. Like if this reached a thousand dollars at this mid grade grade. You can see there's lots of rubbing on the back and lots of spine ticks. So I'm guessing 5.0 on this one. There's a there's corner creases. Yeah, this if this for some reason a 5.0 became a thousand dollar book, easily sell this or quickly sell it at a 5.0. You know, a thousand dollars, just boom, get it out there. And it's already there's no questions about what the grade is. So I'm guessing 5.0, and then we'll look at some information on on the census. So 5.0. Nice mid-grade copy. Would love a 6.0. That would be great. Oh, it's right in the middle. Right in the middle. And this one is off-white to white pages. So off-white to white pages, 5.5. Just wanted to get it graded. Like I said, I had a really nice high grade, definitely above a 9.0. And I sold it to get another book. Happy to have this one. Also, in not only is it the most liquid for, for me. Now, you can sell raw books, no problem. And they'll be liquid assets. But... For me to get the best bang for the buck, usually slabbed is is the way to go for me. Now, I, I really don't sell any of my slabs. As much as I say they're liquid, they're really just, they kind of just stay with me. I love the presentation of them. But if for some reason I needed to, to upgrade very quickly, I know that these books are ready to go. So this one's great. Love it. Staying in the collection. New stand edition. First appearance of Venom and just really great classic cover. Let me look up some information on this book. All right. So they do distinguish between the newsstand and the direct edition. So for newsstand 5.5, the most recent sale was in March and it was $480. So $480. Let's see what a 6.0 would have sold for in March. In March uh, 28th, a 6.0 sold for $486. So for the 5.5 that we had, $480. $6 less, both sold on eBay. And both, uh, this was actually the more recent sale was the 5.5. It was on the 30th, so just two days ago, versus the 28th on the 6.0 for $486. $6 more for a 6.0 two days before. That's how fast the prices are going up, $6. Let me check out the census. Um, they don't break it down on the newsstand. So let me go to the direct. Uh, there's got to be thousands of these. Yep, there are, so there's, 24,000 total on the census, 19,743 are universal graded. And then for a 5.5, there are 246. Obviously, there are a lot of higher graded books on the census. But for 5.5 universal graded, there are 246 copies universally graded. Blue label. Let me know what you guys think of these books. I wanted them to be um, CGC encapsulated. Uh, in their tombs, as you would. It's Easter time. Jesus is risen. So praise praise God for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscription button. Hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. Hit that thumbs up. Would really appreciate the, and the encouragement. And then leave a comment down below what you thought about these books. Uh, did you think any of them would be higher? I thought that 9.4 might be a little bit higher. Maybe a 9.6. I thought that X Factor might be a 9.8. But I'm not disappointed too bad in those grades. Really, really close on. Really happy with that X-Men Annual 14 and also that Thor 705 getting 9.8. So really, really awesome submission. I've got another submission probably heading back to me later next week. Really excited. It's a one book submission. Put your guesses down below what you think that one book is. And with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all on the next one. See you. Bye.